show you these cute little slippers that I ordered from H&M online. <coughs> we don't have them in store in his size, which is 24 and it's super big already, oh my god. When they arrived, I was like, oh my god, they are huge. But it's his uh, feet size right now, so uh, I think they are going to be great for a colder weather. It's very, very cozy and comfy slippers. Hi guys, so it's actually dinner time for us right now. I actually already ate some pizza um, and now I'm going to give dinner to my little one. Uh, our dad, I mean his dad, my hubby, uh, went on a business trip this evening. Actually he departed after dinner. Uh, so he's going to Croatia, he will be there for a couple of nights and I miss him already um, yeah because I really love spending nights with him uh, after you know a busy day we get to chill and relax at, at least for like um, an hour on a couch after our little one goes to sleep so I will definitely miss that um, in the evening and I managed to wash my hair just before he left and you know washed and blow dried it so that's good. We also uh, washed our little one, so that's a little update. I do have quite um, oily face right now because I actually applied argan oil and then my moisturizer and then under my eyes I'm actually wearing <laughs> a nipple balm because the nipple balm that I'm using it's by Biobaza and it's all natural. It contains ingredients such as avocado oil, grapeseed oil, um, she butter, um, and uh, what else? Um, olive oil. So it's just the ingredients are just amazing, and they are the best for like healing the skin and also for you know keeping the elasticity of the skin so um, I have been using it for under my eyes as well and a little bit on my forehead obviously in night time because as you can see it does have this like a lot of shine Sweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire 
Hi guys, so 
we are on our way to Croatia and I am eating um, these chio tortillas with cheese and this is what we usually always get at gas station in Slovenia or this for ice cream um, I'm waiting for my hubby here he is are we ready? yeah we are we can go we can leave <laughs> Our little son is sleeping. <laughs> Easy. Taking a bath. Yeah, he is. Okay. We are listening to Subsonica, Amore Matico. Which year was it that they released this album? I don't know, 2000 and something. 2001? Mm. Maybe. Something like that. Because we were listening to it in 2003, 2003, when we were going to London in the car. So that was 2004. No, it was, it was 2004. Summer, summer. Okay, yeah. Summer 2004. Hi guys, so I'm up since 6 this morning and it's now 10. I was hoping to go to sleep. Um, I was hoping that my son would feel tired by this point, but not yet, not yet, but I'm still in my pyjamas, ready to catch up on some sleep. Yesterday I fell asleep at around this hour and I slept for one hour and it was such a good thing. So now I'm just like a zombie waiting for that to happen again. I'm playing with him, obviously, but he's so active, you know, he's just running around everywhere and yeah I just finished this chocolate bar I mean this I've had since Monday now it's Wednesday <coughs> and yeah it's really really nice it's creation by Crush and it's uh, with stevia instead of just regular sugar Oh yeah, and it's really really tasty. Hi guys, so it's Thursday, yeah, and I'm going to do a little update. I really wasn't sure whether I should film or not, but hey, um, I'm going to make this vlog as real as possible. So we were supposed to go back to Italy today afternoon and it turned out uh, my hubby is still at work. He works here in Croatia as well. So um, he's been um, at work since early morning and now it's 5 o'clock and he was supposed to uh, be done with work but apparently he's still working because he isn't answering his phone so uh, we changed our plan yesterday because he told me he has so much work to do so we are uh, supposed to uh, go back to Italy tomorrow morning very early my little son is waking up at half past six, something like that, so I guess we will start packing at seven or eight o'clock. And then at half past four um, p.m. I am working until late in the evening, so it's going to be a super tiring weekend. And to be honest with you, this uh, stay in Croatia did not go as I imagined at all, and uh, I am feeling a little bit... Um, you know a little bit upset and angry and disappointed and also let down and like all sorts of negative feelings and I just wish I stayed um, in Italy with my little son and my hubby uh, could have just gone um, on his own here 
in Croatia because uh, here we have our house and my mom has a flat down in the center of the town so it's not a problem for him to just you know go by himself just because uh, I am alone from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. or even later in the evening he's been working all day long and that wasn't originally the plan uh, we, we thought we would have at least uh, like half day to spend together but it turns out uh, you know when he arrives home it's so late and uh, we barely even <laughs> have you know chance to talk because we have to prepare dinner for ourselves for our little son and then uh, it's all about going to sleep and then when when our little son falls asleep all everything that we want to do is fall asleep too so it's been uh, rough and also um, my little son is so active I mean I'm blessed that he's such a healthy and wonderful child um, and he's my biggest joy but it's quite tiring to um, to just run after him from 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. or even later in the evening um, literally I just put him in his little bed right now with a little bit of music he will probably be entertained like this hopefully for 10 or 15 minutes I mean I'm hoping because I just cannot I'm so tired you know uh, he has a lot of toys and uh, he has his uh, colorful tent and everything and um, I was drawing for him uh, we did some drawings as you can probably see here and we try to draw like a telephone uh, but uh, the fact is that he just wants to um, run around the house and explore this is uh, his main thing and he wants to climb everywhere on the chairs on the table so it's actually you know physically um, tiring for me because uh, he doesn't really spend a lot of time engaging in drawing or playing and i have um, this little book where is it anyway this little book with songs and everything and i'm trying to entertain him like that but he just doesn't want to sit still so you know it's it's um, it's nicer when you have um, a little bit of health um, when my hubby comes home late in the afternoon it's a little bit uh, easier for me because uh, I can do something for myself just you know brush my hair for example while he's uh, taking care of him um, this way here the house is structured that I have bought from upstairs so uh, it's it's a little bit more challenging for me to be independent um, whilst taking care of my son but in Italy we have like smaller flat and I'm already organized in a way that I can I can basically you know be uh, independent and taking care of my son I can um, just you know prepare myself for the day um, brush my teeth you know brush my hair and all that stuff uh, whether here it's a little bit more challenging uh, because he's at that stage now where I really need to keep close eye on him I cannot just leave him in his bed because he can easily uh, you know uh, jump out of the bed so I really have to be careful um, yeah and uh, when I take him with me in the bathroom he just wants to throw all the shampoo bottles in the bathtub and he wants to flush the toilet and uh, touch the toilet which is not hygienic at all so yeah <laughs> anyway um, what I'm most kind of disappointed is that uh, I was prepared that my hubby would have to work long hours but I thought oh my mom is here you know because she phones every day and she speaks uh, for hours and hours on the phone and she really wants to see us and wants to spend time with us so I was like okay my mom is going to be here so uh, even if my hubby has to look has to work long hours at least we are going to spend time with my mom with Sebastian's granny and it's going to be easier because maybe I can cook while she's playing with him and you know just it's it's nicer when you're in a company 
Um, but my mom came only uh, Tuesday, the last time I vlogged. She came and she spent the day with us. And it was really nice, you know, she was very happy and all, but she made her mind that she won't be uh, coming um, back. Uh, the next time she'll see us is going to be for Christmas time, this is what she told me. And I was like, why don't you come, you know, we are still here Wednesday and Thursday and for the most part of the day we are on our own. But she just was feeling so tired and I don't blame her because uh, I understand where she's coming from uh, but she's just you know very tired and very negative and she's bringing uh, up all the negative things in her life and that's why she doesn't really feel like uh, going out and being more active and you know taking the bus uh, to come to see us here so I'm just you know very disappointed because my only reason for coming here um, at this uh, point now was my mom you know and to give her possibility to spend with us time but um, it turns out that we spent this whole week like trapped in this room, living room and kitchen and uh, yeah i wasn't able to check my emails i'm just taking care of my son running around uh, like crazy upstairs downstairs from morning till night and yeah i am kind of whining but i just want to went out because it's just the way it is you know um, uh, tomorrow morning we have to pack and uh, travel to Italy and then I'm working Friday, Saturday and Sunday long hours so it's going to be quite challenging and um, Tuesday after that we have inventory in our store and I have to wake up at 4 a.m. to be at work at 5 and I will work till 10 a.m. and then when I come home I cannot just say to my son oh I woke up at 4 I'm going to take, take a nap now no it, ju it just doesn't work like this so it's been physically and a little bit mental, you know, challenging for me in this period of time and I just wish that we stayed in Italy because um, it's just easier for me. I really don't see why are we here, you know, because my mom is not coming to visit us and my hubby is working from 7 till 7, so why are we here, you know? The weather has been very, very bad. Um, it was blowing uh, wind, uh, you go, uh, like crazy and then it was raining a lot uh, we had the flood as well here I mean down in the center of the town and in Italy too uh, so only Wednesday it's been yesterday it's been so nice and sunny and I so wish that my mom came because we could have gone um, outside and just you know spend the day out and about uh, here but she just wasn't feeling it I don't know um, yeah and today it's even a holiday it's first of november but my hubby is at work and i am alone and i was hoping he would come home um a little bit earlier today but apparently it's not gonna happen i'm really really sorry that i talked for 10 minutes but you know what, uh, I remember in my previous uh, vlogs and previous videos, you know, like when I was pregnant and so when I, have, when I had this down moment, a moment of um, not feeling so great, uh, talking to the camera, putting my thoughts and emotions and feelings out there really helped and um, it's, it's very real, it's non-edited, it's just uh, what I'm feeling right now and um, you guys uh, can relate to some of these things now I'm vlogging about motherhood and family family issues and I just you know wished I just wished so much like from the bottom of my heart I wished that my mom um, came here to spend days with us because um, you know it was a great chance uh, to spend some time with her and to be like a family and she just missed out on that because she was feeling too tired and too negative and she really has all the time to rest uh, after we return to Italy because she isn't really engaging in any um, special activity she's in her retirement so 
you know, she has plenty of time to rest. She's like mentally tired more than physically. I mean, obviously physically too, but when you are feeling mentally down, then I think, um, you know, you can feel um, very, very tired and stressed on your entire body, like physically stressed. So, yeah, this time our visit to Krisha was um, kind of a letdown, and I don't know if I'm going to go back for uh, for Christmas, uh, we thought we would, but um, we would have like Monday to travel. Monday is Christmas Eve, and then we would come uh, to a very, very cold house, like icy cold house that we have to first warm up with these. We, we have these um, as like wooden type of um, heating so I don't know I think it's not it's not just worth it because then um, Tuesday and Wednesday we are in Croatia and on on Thursday we have to travel back because Friday I work again so I just don't think it's worth it you know to come here just with, with a little kid you know to freeze ourselves and to hear my mom whining about things in her life so that's that guys um, I hope I will vlog some more and with more uh, optimistic topics and um, you know I hope I will be able to give you a little bit more optimistic update tomorrow or in the next days okay guys it's Friday today and we are packing for the trip we are like halfway um, in our packing. I have to change my son now for the day, um, you know, dress him and everything. Such a mosicho buchi zadan. And I packed my suitcases, his suitcase. I mean, we shared the suitcase because I didn't bring much um, food that left. Uh, um, and now we have to, you know, just tidy up and then hopefully go um, the weather it's mm, not that great and uh, I'm hoping to get some food before um, before our trip because I'm actually hungry already and I'm working at half past five no half past four half past four yeah so yeah uh, this is the weather outside today um, very gloomy and just cloudy. I'm in the car waiting for my hubby to uh, lock the house. Um, my little son is sleeping so that's why I'm whispering and the weather it's just crazy. It's raining a lot and oh it's just blah. So I don't know Hopefully there won't be a lot of traffic, so I will make it in time for work because I really don't want to be in a rush, you know. Yeah, we will see, keep your fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly and on the borders as well. I was planning to do a little bit of beauty shopping down um, in a local um, drugstore, but I don't think that's going to happen and I'm so sorry about that because I really really wanted to get some things that are like creation made in creation yeah and they were on my wish list for months now so but just it, it just didn't happen for me obviously the weather was playing against us this time so what can I do hi guys <laughs> can you see me oh gosh it's let me see 4 and 27 a.m. and I am going to work I actually don't work this early but once a year or twice a year if we are lucky uh, we have inventory so I got to go because we are supposed to meet at 4.45 uh, so quarter to 5 and at 5 we start the inventory gosh it's so early anyway I'm having um, to work now just wanted to show you a little bit of this atmosphere it's raining and well it's not really raining but it's been raining um, 
all day and all night long and hopefully there won't be many people on the street <laughs> so I will make it on time I better stop vlogging now <laughs> bye Blime escape while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating